Kate at Mullen Hill Farm and today I'm going to go over uh, planting your brassica seedlings. So the brassica family includes kale, collards, broccoli, cauliflower, um, cabbages, all of those types of things, kohlrabi, and now it is time to get those seedlings in the ground so we have uh, warm enough night temperatures. Now after you plant these you do want to still keep note of the temperatures because uh, you might need to cover these at night. You can do that with something called row cover or row fabric. I've also seen people just use what they call hot caps, so just any type of plastic container that they can put over this. You just want to make sure that that's not going to touch the leaves at all. So you want it to be up high enough that you're going to get good coverage but that it's not sitting on the leaves. So uh, when we plant these seedlings I did the same bed prep. I uh, raised the bed up on both sides. I put a really nice organic compost down to feed my soil and I broad forked. This soil is like butter. It's nice and loose and that's how I want it whenever I'm planting. So I really don't even need to use a trowel on this soil. It's really easy to work. So uh, here are our seedlings and what I like to do is I'm doing two rows here in this bed and I like to lay them out before I plant them. So I lay them out in a zigzag pattern so that they're slightly offset of one another. So if you kind of think of three seedlings, they're in a triangle. And then I have the next three and the next three and they go all the way down the road. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and take my seedling out really gently by squeezing the bottom. I'm going to loosen the roots, but I, they don't really need it that much. And I'm going to dig a nice hole here and I'm going to stick it all the way down and I'm going to put the soil up around the base of the plant so the plant is standing up nice and strong so uh, it's not flopped over or to the side or anything like that. Then I'm just going to go on to the next one. Again in that zigzag, zigzag pattern in two rows and I'm going to go ahead and put that one in and I'm going to move on to the next and do the same thing. And I'm just going to keep on going. Now after that I'm going to give them a nice drink but I'm going to give that drink right there at the root of the plant at the base so not on the leaves um, just straight at the bottom where it can absorb it and then I'm going to take some straw and I'm going to put that around the base of the plant just kind of tucking it in and also using this straw to mulch my garden so it's for weed suppression it's for keeping the moisture where I want it if I was doing this on a larger scale and I was gonna do some type of mechanized cultivation I probably wouldn't be using this but uh, I'm growing on about a quarter acre and uh, mulching the heck out of my garden really works really well for me so once I get this all planted, I'll get the straw on and then we're good to go. So right now is definitely time to go ahead and get your brassica crops in the ground. Uh, keep an eye on them. Keep an eye still on those nighttime temps. I know most farmers get up in the morning and the first thing they do is check the weather. You got to know what kind of field work you can do that day. So enjoy!